Hey everyone, I wanted to show you a couple of tricks just in case you don't have a cutter that you really needed. So my first cookie here is a watermelon slice with a bite taken out of it. Now I don't have this cookie cutter, so I made this kind of with what I had. So what I did is take a big round circle cutter that I have, I cut the shape out, then I cut it in half as evenly as possible. Now I've got my two watermelon slices. But one, I wanted to make like a bite taken out of it. So I have this other cutter with rounded bumps and I use that to make the bite. Now if you don't have this specific cutter, anything will do, even you know piping tips and you can do multiple little bites and just be creative with it. And there you go, you have you know two different watermelon slices, one with the bite, one without. Now the next one I have is a whale tail. Now it's a whale tail cutter, but I wanted to turn it into a mermaid, you know, the bottom of a mermaid's fin kind of thing. And so the body part wasn't long enough for what I wanted. So what I did is I would cut the whale, the bottom of the tail out, and then I just kind of followed the lines of the body and made it higher. And then what I do is just sort of pinch the dough together and I kind of smooth it out with my finger and carefully put it up on my pan. And then as it bakes, it kind of melts together and makes a solid cookie. So you still see the line there where I tried to kind of pinch it together as much as possible. But you can see that it's pretty sturdy. I can pick it up now that it's baked and it doesn't really break off. And the bottom is almost gone. So you don't even see that it was, you know, Franken cookie together as we say it. So sometimes when you don't have the exact cutter, you just have to be a little creative and think outside the box. Hope this gives you some ideas and we'll see you in the next video. Happy baking!